Hi folks, welcome back to another Tactic Zone. This time look at an Edinburgh derby that ended in punches being thrown, handbags being swung and harsh words being exchanged. Scottish football. Don't you just love it? We could start with the stats and point out that in a game where hearts were reduced to 10 men after half an hour, Hibs enjoyed dominance in virtually every key category. But that would ignore the one circled in red there, obviously. Honestly, Hearts were well organised and tough, and they used their obvious danger men well. Xander Clark going long from Hibbs' corner to send Josh Ginelli free in this move, which ended with an important throw in deep in Hibbs' territory early on. As that set piece was flung into the box, Eli Yuan was watching Yuturu Odo, Oda, sorry, and then he wasn't his attention switching to the ball. Which left Oda in plenty of space to take a touch and bag his first goal for Hearts. Now ahead after eight minutes, Hearts demonstrated solid organisational skills as they looked to deny Hibs away back into the game. They closed off key players, left the visitors with only bad options. As you can see here, they can't get the ball into Joe Newell, only play over the top or go around. This move actually ends up with a Hearts throw-in. In Kevin Nisbet though, Hibs have a striker who can pick most locks. And just look at this, he's isolated when he chases a long ball from Jake Doyle Hayes. Stays on side, gets his body in the way, he's surrounded by maroon jerseys. But his close control keeps play alive. Then he finds Chris Cadden with a perfect ball, leaving Alex Cochran to make a desperate lunge. It's a penalty, which is overturned. A yellow card, which is upgraded to a red, and then Nisbet scores the free kick. 1 1. That's still enough for Hearts. And after the red card, they kind of went into full defensive mode, as you would expect, dropping in a 4 4 1. And making life difficult for Hibs. Yuan should never be dropping that deep to get on the ball if you're a Hibs team trying to break the opposition down. And this shows how difficult Hearts made it for the visitors. I mean, the easy pass inside the fullback is being cut off by two Hearts players. So Ewan Henderson has to try a World Cup pass in behind a packed Hearts line, and he can't pull it off. It actually says plenty about Hibbs' lack of creativity that for most of the afternoon, Paul Hanlon was, was possibly their most promising playmaker. Here you see Lewis Miller's off the ball running to open up a little bit of space. And it ends up with a shot from Hanlon. Good save from Xander Clark. But look at that space Hanlon's generated in the final third just by stepping out of the back line and being brave on the ball. Although Hibbs had some set piece chances, even a many times deflected effort that hit the post, their opportunities from open play were limited. But Hanlon was more than willing to go on the overlap. And Harry McCurdy, who was pretty ineffectual after being introduced at halftime, should have done better to head wide from this delivery. In conclusion then, Hearts didn't need to fight with the swagger of Rocky Marciano. Ahead on points, they just needed to show the spirit of Rocky Balboa, which they did. Good preparation as it turned out for a post-match melee reminiscent of those massed shoving bouts you see at the end of many a heavyweight contest. This has been Tactic Stone. I'm John Greekin. If you've enjoyed it, or if you haven't, find me on Twitter at Johnny the Greek to tell me all about it. And keep following Record Online Sport for your top football coverage.